Hi everybody and thanks again for taking time to see what's going on around the college. A very big announcement by the OTC Foundation. The Missouri National Guard comes to campus for some training and there are two big events coming up in the month of April. But first, the OTC Foundation finished its first ever capital campaign at a value of more than $14 million. The grand total is $4 million more than the original goal of $10 million, which includes two donated buildings that have become the OTC Lebanon Center. The victory celebration acknowledged key individuals at the college and in the community who helped the campaign surpass its fundraising goal. It was five and a half years ago, shortly after Dr. Higdon arrived as uh, the new president of OTC, he and I met about some of the priorities that we had in the advancement area. And one of the very early things we decided we wanted to do was to do a capital campaign. And it's amazing that five and a half years later, we're here today to celebrate the end of that campaign. The OTC Foundation works to meet the needs of the college through scholarship funding, new programs, and capital improvement projects. The sounds of gunfire and explosions were heard in Lincoln Hall as a group of medics from the Missouri Army National Guard use OTC's state-of-the-art mannequins for combat medical training. In the training scenarios, the mannequins showed injuries and wounds the medics would see from soldiers on the battlefield gunshot wounds, severed limbs, and exposure to sarin gas. During the scenarios, the soldiers would moan, blink, bleed, and even shed tears. The mannequin operators would change the condition of the patient with the computer, forcing the medics to change their treatment. Having the access to OTC's mannequins in their own state provides the training much closer to home. In the past, the guard members had to travel to Fort Sam Houston in Texas for these types of training. Uh, our medics have to be ready to take care of people and it's through training like this that allows our medics to be ready and that's why more people survive today than in any time in history. The mannequins were purchased with funding from the state of Missouri's Training for Tomorrow grant. The annual spring play is a few months away. The Fine Arts Department will be performing Neil Simon's The Good Doctor. Tickets will be available soon to OTC employees and students at no charge. The play will be performed at the Galois Theater in downtown Springfield the last weekend in April. We'll let you know when tickets to the play are available. Also in April, OTC's annual Community Day will be held Saturday, April 28th from 9 to 2. It is a day full of events for everyone. A car show, plant sale, welding repair, and health screenings. For children, there will be a bounce house, face painting, and other activities. The culinary department will have food available for sale. Proceeds from all the sales that day will benefit students from each of the programs that participate. For more information, visit the Community Day webpage. And that is it for this month. Of course, if you have any story ideas, please let me know. Thanks again for your time. I'll talk to you next month.